So we won't deny that we love sea turtles. You so totally rock, squirt! But we have a problem. They're disappearing from our oceans. For more than 164 million years, sea turtles have filled our seas and now almost every kind is considered endangered. Let's put that time frame into perspective. 5,000 years ago starts the beginning of written human history. 2.4 million years ago, we had the Ice Age. Dinosaurs kicked the bucket around 65 million years ago, so these guys are no stranger to struggle. Whether the problem be trash, boats, poaching, or habitat destruction. In North Carolina, the loggerhead is the most prominent turtle to lay eggs on the shore. We consider that the current populations that we see nesting in North Carolina are just a remnant of what used to be um, around several hundred or even thousands of years ago. The message that the turtles bring us from the oceans is that they are unsafe. We have let our litter fill the oceans, litter of all kinds. Toxic chemical. That's Jean. She's the director and the founder of this place, the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehab Center in Surf City, North Carolina. This has been her gig since the mid 90s, and since then, she says she's returned around a thousand turtles back to the ocean. On this day, she's taking two patients back to sea. Mother Ocean, here she comes. Yep. That's Duncan, and you can see he's eager to get to the water. He was caught by a fisherman. And I think he could sense the water, sense the ocean, since he was back home. And then there's Sailor. She's an older loggerhead turtle who has propeller marks on her shell. Both have been Jean's patients since the summer. Jean says that at top sale for the 2017 season, there's been fewer turtle nests. Some reasons could be storm surge or it just wasn't mama turtle's year. The North Carolina Sea Turtle Project shows a decade-long increase in loggerhead nests along the coast, but Jean says that today's sea turtle population is nothing compared to that of 50 or 60 years ago. Back at the hospital, we find a few permanent residents. Most of these guys will return to the sea, and you can see they're here for a variety of injuries, and some are here from cold stun. What is cold stun? Well, it's essentially a reaction that turtles have when they're in too much cold water. They have decreased heart rate and circulation, and it can lead to shock and maybe even death. In fact, if you think a sea turtle could be dead, it may just be experiencing this. The best thing you can do is call a place like Jean's. And it's because of Jean and her volunteers and the tireless work that they've all been doing, we're taking one step closer to helping the sea turtle population, but there's still a lot of work to do. So what can you do to help out these ever fading creatures? We've got links below. There's more information there. Plus there's information to Jean's turtle hospital if you're interested in getting involved in that. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, Comment. Thanks for watching.